नमस्ते जय शिवाय अगेन वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन दैट आई विल बी इन इंडिया ऑन फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटींथ इन ऋषिकेश हिमालय एंड दोज हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कमिंग एंड मीटिंग मी दे कैन गो टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट योगी परम्परा डॉट ओ आर जी वेबसाइट एंड ऑन दैट वेबसाइट ऑन द होम पेज इट सेल्फ यू विल सी द नोटिफिकेशन अ मैसेज बींग डिस्प्लेड दैट से इज द मीटिंग विद इन द हिमालय ऋषिकेश इट्स अ स्मॉल टाउन सो यू विल बी एबल टू बुक यूर एकोमोडेशन एंड एवरीथिंग and uh, we can meet and have initiation and you know question answers and whatever it is that you got, you are in need of right and uh, another thing that i would like to mention is that you know we are spending a lot of time in making these youtube videos and doing all this and it's it's a duty of a guru to give wisdom to the entire world right all those who need it but at the very same time it costs us a lot in terms of you know rendering the videos creating the videos having devices to laptops and phones and all these things mic this that so a lot of people those who can donate just just donate okay when i created a video right if you are just taking and never giving it's going through your good karmas <clears throat> you're paying through your good karmas you're reducing the balance of it so just keep keep that balance whatever you can donate just donate and no nowhere anybody's donation or anything ever goes waste the the uh, ultimate account of karmic balance is being maintained always for everyone okay so you do not have to worry whether your donation will go waste or anything like that N- not not with people like me okay so just donate whatever you can that is one thing another thing is that last time i created a video about intensity about last one was i think about emotions but before that there was a video about intensity and regarding that topic i received a lot of emails similar emails that some seekers they had a lot of intensity to begin with 3 years ago 4 years ago some said 7 years ago or 10 years ago they had a lot of good intensity no matter how many odds they were facing in their life at that time they were still able to do their spiritual practice with full intensity and uh, no matter if they had to fight with their spouse or their parents or they had no place to meditate or no place to do stuff yet they were very 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 intense about th- their spiritual practices and in general at that time in life they were very intense in achieving the goals in life let's do this let's do this let's do let me do this and if it were whether it was the job or it was the studies or whether it was going to another country and trying to get a job or you know settling down somewhere or studying in the foreign country and getting a degree from this college that college anything no matter what it was they were just very intense at that time suddenly from last 6 months 1 year 2 year they have lost that intensity and now uh, not just for spiritual matters it seems like there is some sort of a numbness or some sort of a laziness you can say that is exist and they f- do not feel like you know doing much or running after much or doing this or doing that neither from the worldly point of view that intensity is there anymore nor do they have the intensity to do their own spiritual practices properly and not being so much intense in the external world is still fine but what eats them from within is that how come for spiritual practices they are not left with that much intensity anymore so that's the question how to get it back and why in the first place place they lost that intensity okay see 
one very important thing that you need to understand is that it's the wisdom that works for you for anything and everything. When you had the wisdom which said, oh, achieving this degree or getting that job or settling down in this country or marrying that person or loving this person, all that was so damn important for you as if your survival depended on it. You know, it was a matter of life and death. It was a matter of survival for, for you. So you were very intense about it. Including the spiritual practices, you felt as if your survival depends on it. That's what your intellect was telling you. That's what the wisdom you had at that time. Now when survival has been taken care of, suddenly a lot of people find they are not intense anymore. Yeah, you find the job, you got the job. Yeah, you got the degree, you are done with it. Yeah, you are settled in life, you married so and so person that you were running after and now you are married to them. So life is settled in lot of ways. So that intensity of survival is which was forcing you to do all these things is not there. Same with the spiritual practices that also your wisdom at one point of time was trying to tell you that your survival depends on these practices. Your life and it's a matter of life and death for you. Your life depends on these spiritual practices. Every minute must be used. That's what the wisdom at that time was telling you. Then when you achieved some things here and there, here and there, some achievement, sense of achievement happened, some satisfaction happened, right? Some contentment happened. Then this survival which caused the intensity, this wisdom that said it's a matter of survival, that wisdom is not there anymore. It's not a matter of survival anymore. Neither the spiritual goals nor the worldly goals. Nothing is a matter of survival for you. That's what your intent, that's what your brain is, this, that's what your mind, your intellect is trying to tell you. That's what the wisdom is within. Earlier you were running after these things because it's a matter of survival. Now its conditions have changed. It's no longer a matter of survival. So why do it? That intensity is missing. So it's not wrong to have that kind of an intensity, intensity because of that cause. But again you need to understand once the cause is gone, its effects will be gone too. Then who are those people who are still able to keep go on with the same intensity all the time. It's the people those who have vairagya. It's the wisdom that they have got that says living in this world in the human body will end up in suffering in one way or the other if you do not wake up now. If you do not become 100% conscious now, you will end up, your body will be diseased, aged, diseased, decayed in so many matters. Your mind, your intellect will become, you know, weak in so many matters. No matter and how good you are living, you may die any day tomorrow. The sense of mortality is always there. So that deep sense of mortality, the deep sense of realization that I am mortal, I may not wake up tomorrow. I, whatever time I am left with, it's just today, it's just now. So I am going to do my spiritual practice no matter what. I am walking my spiritual journey no matter what. Whether it's you have to do <coughs> pranayams by sitting, whether it's about uh, doing your dhyana, your meditation, whether it's about uh, <coughs> studying the script, scriptures or listening to the gurus, whatever it may be about that very strong sense of being a realization, being a mortal, having a mortal body. That's one thing that keeps you going, that keeps you intense. The moment you lose this sense that, oh, we have tomorrow. Now we can do it tomorrow. Oh, we can do it after three months. We can do it after six months. That means this sense, this realization of being mortal is not there inside you. 
This is one ultimate realization which never lets you sit and breathe in with your all kinds of laziness, mental excuses, lack of intensity is never felt by such people, those who have a very intense, deep realization that I am having this mortal body and you know, somebody may hit me tomorrow, a bus may hit me, a car may hit me tomorrow or I may, you know, suddenly get a heart attack or a stroke and I may leave or I may just die in my sleep for no reason or something may bite me, a spider or this is Australia, it's <laughs> snake-like venomous spiders here. So, as we may die of, you know, being bitten by a spider or a snake or some something, some crazy thing may happen or somebody may rob my house and kill me, you know, anything can happen. I may get caught up in some kind of a gang war in some country if I am into such places. So, anything can happen. This is strong sense, deep sense of realization that I am mortal. Every minute, every moment counts. Those who have this wisdom, they keep on going with the same intensity. Now, the reason to walk, the cause, the propelling reason, the fuel is this wisdom. It's no more, no more, you know, about survival, about reaching somewhere or something. No, it's just a very deep sense of being, having a mortal body, being a mortal. Some part of us is mortal. This deep realization. Another kind of people, <clears throat> another reason which never moves or goes here and there is a very, very, very solid vairagya, dispassion. When you have that, when vairagya means that you have 100% realization and understanding that no matter how better you live, no matter how good your education is, no matter how good a job you have, no matter how much money you got, ultimately it will create pain and suffering in one way or the other. Until an atma attains moksha, samadhi, enlightenment, until one becomes a jivan mukta, life is going to give you, rock, knock you down every now and then. It's going to be a roller coaster of pain and happiness, pain, suffering and happiness, suffering and happiness, suffering and happiness. One day you are happy, another day you are sad, one day, one day you are depressed, another day you are joyful. That is will keep going on and on. With that hamster wheel will go on and on and on and on. No matter when you get everything in life, still you are not going to be permanently happy and joyful. So you see, very, very deep realization of the suffering nature of life, of the cosmos, of the universe. When these two are the reasons, this, when these two are the propelling force, that's it. It creates a hell lot of intensity. You do not waste one single day, one single hour, one minute, one moment. You do not breathe without having one pointed focus on your spiritual goal. This is what keeps the fire burning. So your intensity de depends upon the wisdom that you have. And if the wisdom is trying to tell you how mortal your body is and how frickle, feeble the nature of life is and any time you can you lose all this, how impermanent this entire cosmos and universe and the life is, no matter how much you love somebody, someday they will die, someday you will die. No matter how much money you have and how pa palace-like house you have built, if you get diseases in your body, maximum time will be spent on hospital bed, not in the palace kind of house that you have built. So you see, wisdom creates the intensity. So, if today you are finding that you are not intense enough, check your wisdom. Why were you earlier 
walking. Just because you do not understand why you were walking, you were able to walk. Why were you walking the spiritual journey before? Why were you pursuing the, all the goals of your life so intensely before? Why? Because you do not have an answer to that why, now you wonder when it is not there, you wonder what happened, why did it happen? Earlier also, it was the wisdom, some, some wisdom in you that propelled you furiously onto spiritual goals, towards the spiritual goals and towards your material goals. And now, that why is no longer there, survival has been taken care of in one way or the other or you may have some other agenda, some other reason. You wanted to prove to yourself that you are a successful person and you, you can get, get the degree from this college, that university or you may have another agenda that you know, you are a spiritual person, you are a good Atma, you are a good uh, human being and you, you, are, you are spiritual, you do not waste time in drinking, partying and doing all that. So, you may have some other agenda. No longer that cause is there and that is why you lost the intensity. So, when the cause to begin with is the mortal nature of the body and intense vairagya, this passion, then you will not lose intensity at all. Those are two permanent things in you. Those two realizations are very solid, very permanent. It is a vairagya. In other words, realizing the mortal nature is also vairagya, vairagya from the body. That no matter how much makeup I do, how much exercise I do, uh, no matter how many yoga kriyas I do to keep myself healthy, it's only going to take me so far. Someday death and decay and aging will happen. It's the nature of the body. Someday the pains will happen. Diseases will happen one way or the other. Change the wisdom. Your intensity will fix the wisdom. Your intensity will be fixed. Fix your wisdom which propelled you earlier and now it is not, no longer that wisdom is there, no longer that cause is applicable. So, effect is not there. Change the cause. A lot of people walk a spiritual journey and go, go to gurus and satsangs and darshan for gurus and everybody because they are running from their house, from their household life, from their wife, from their husband or from their in-laws or from the conditions at home. A lot of people walk a spiritual journey because of that. Now imagine somehow we fix their life conditions. We give them a happy household. Suddenly something changes in their household and you know that person with who was giving them constant pain, con suddenly he or she became a very loving, caring and very nice person. Their in-laws somehow are changed and they became really nice, caring. And everything, the environment from which they were running earlier and people thought how bhakta, how much of a great devotee they are, great bhakta they are, how much of a great spiritual person they are because they were always talking about, you know, wisdom and gurus and yoga and tantra, mantra, yantra, japa and this and that. They earlier, they were talking about all that. Now, suddenly when the house conditions are fixed, now they are enjoying TV with their family, eating popcorn with their family. Suddenly, they are spending a lot of time going out with their family, you know. They are happily enjoying their family life. So, suddenly from a spiritual, they became completely worldly person, materialistic person. 360 degree, <laughs> they have taken a U-turn completely. So, because to walk the spiritual journey, their reason was escapism. The cause was escapism. Escape from suffering that they are getting in the house. That was the cause for their uh, walking their spirit, spiritual journey. The moment that cause is not there, they stopped walking the spiritual journey. And they lacked what? Neither, neither, neither do they have the deep realization of the mortal and impermanent nature of this whole cosmos including their own body, nor do they have dispassion. They have not cultivated the dispassion yet. So, now they wonder what happened. Uh, this is just an example I am giving you. So, you have to investigate within yourself why you were walking the spiritual journey earlier 
or why you had so much intensity earlier? Was it a matter of survival? Was it a matter of you know developing a strong identity? Was it a matter of proving yourself to yourself or to your parents, to your spouse, to somebody or to maybe just to yourself? You were just trying to prove and that is why you were so intense and running after so many things and now suddenly those causes do not exist anymore. <laughs> And then you wonder what happened, why so much I am being so much lazy, why I am feeling so much relaxed and some sort of a you know for false or fake kind of contentment has happened. It is not that I have attained samadhi, samadhi yet I do not feel like even doing pranayams or my spiritual practices, I do not why even if I try somehow it feels like uh, I do not have the intensity to do it, where did all that go? So investigate the reason. What was the reason you started in the first place when you were intense? And then it is not so much to worry about. Try cultivating vairagya in you, okay? dispassion in you. Try living without things. Practice all these small things. Practice yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratyahar to the extent you can. And then slowly by and by life will give you more suffering to cultivate dispassion. <laughs> If not in this lifetime, then in another lifetime. Why, why worry? We have all the time in the universe that we, we want to take. Right? You cannot hurry or force something from outside. You cannot. It is a realization that will happen to you by living the life. Life will give you enough suffering, nothing to worry about that. So, then Vairagi will happen automatically. But in other words, if you want to do it, then practice Yama Niyama Asana. Pranayam and Pratyahar. These five things at least one must practice. Okay. So that some intensity is there. And then try to change the, fix the wisdom that you have. Why do, why does someone needs to go towards Samadhi? Why someone needs to walk the path of Moksha? Why someone needs to be on their spiritual journey? Okay. Namaste. Jai Shivai. Oh.